Okay, so this is a basic how-to on tracking hurricanes, just using coordinates and the tracking chart. Okay, so this is kind of an example. This is what your um, what your little lesson and your little assignment's gonna look like. Okay, so this is the first slide, it says choice board, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then we come to here. Okay, let me zoom back down a little bit. Ooh. Okay, so it says the following coordinates are from a fictional hurricane, not Katrina. Plot them on a tracking chart on the next slide. Connect the dots so that we can see the path of this storm. These are your coordinate pairs right here. So remember we said before on the last video that on a normal graph, the first one is always your horizontal. So this would be your X and this would be your Y. But on a regular map, it's switched. So this north is going to be your vertical and the west is going to be your horizontal. Okay, so we're tracking them on this chart. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because... You need to be able to see this. Okay. So notice that over here on the left, on the right, and on the left, you have these are your north coordinates. And then down here are your, are your west ones. So our first point was 19 north, 36 west. Okay. Well, so 19 north, so here's 20. So each of these bigger lines is 5. And then these little bitty kind of light color ones are each one degree. So we want 19 and we want 36 west. So we're going to go 19 north, 36 west. So I'm going to go here's 35. So it's one past that and one below 20. So it's going to be like right here. So I want to put a dot there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some shapes and I'm going to put this. I'm going to go ahead and draw me a couple of them and then, or maybe one. And then let's see, I could fill it in. So I'm going to fill it like this color so I can see it. And then I'm going to move this. So if I go to right here, how it does a little arrow cross, that means I can move it. And I want it at 19 and 36. So like right here. So if I click off of that, then I have a dot right there. Okay. So that's my first point. I'm going to use that same thing. So if I click on that and I do control C, and then I come over here somewhere and I do control V. It makes me a second dot. And now I want to drag it to wherever it needs to be. So my second point is 20 north, 60 west. So I'm going to go back in here. 60 west is way over here. And 20 north is right here. So I'm going to take my second point, which was this one. And I'm going to move it. Okay, there's 60. And I'm going to go up to 20. And I'm going to put it right there. Ta-da! Now, if I hit control V again, it's going to make me another dot and I'm going to go over here and this one says, okay, my third one is 21 North 80 West. So I'm going to go back down here. So 80 West is way over here. 21 is like right here under Cuba. So I'm going to take this dot because that was my copy. I'm going to go 80 and 21. So that puts it about right there. Okay. So now I have three points. So then my fourth point is 2587. So I go back over here, control V, 2587. Okay, here's 85. There's 25. So I need 87. So that's one, two over. So it's going to be right there. Okay, so we're almost there. We're, we're heading this way. So, okay, so the next one is 2995. Sounds like a price, but okay. Control V. I'm going to grab this. Okay, 95 is right here. 29 is, so this is 30. So 29 is right there. Okay, so now I have all my points. Now I just need to connect them. So this is a line. So I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to go from here to here. And then we step back. It's not very dark. I'm sure you could you could adjust how heavy it is. So I'm going to make it, is it three? Yeah, that's better. Okay, so now I'm going to do another one from here to here. And then I'm going to do another one. I'll probably adjust that one too, but okay, there to there. And then do another one from there to there. And my lines are kind of, you know, they're a little funky. But that's okay. Oh. 
did something. Okay. Like I could take this line and I could move it a little bit, make it connect with the other lines. Let's see. You can make it smoother. You have to play with that. But basically that's what we're doing. We're making the, we're making the track and we're seeing, you know, where the hurricane started, where it ended up. And that's basically all you do. So on that, on that little assignment, what you're going to do is it'll look just like that. So you'll have a set of like five coordinates and then you just go down here and then you plot the points, connect them with the line and you're good.